y'all. My name is Clarissa Templin and I'm an admissions coordinator for Baylor University. We are so thrilled that you're interested in applying to Baylor. To make things a little bit easier for you, we've created videos to guide you through our application process. The first step is deciding which admissions plan you'd like and when you want to apply by. Baylor offers Early Decision 1, Early Decision 2, Early Action, and Regular Admission. Early Decision is a great option if you know that you want to come to Baylor. There's a binding contract that if you are accepted, you will enroll at Baylor. And we have two deadlines for Early Decision applicants. The Early Decision 1 application is due November 1st and you'll receive an admission decision by December 15th. If you apply Early Decision 2, your application is due on February 1st and you'll receive an admission decision by March 1st. If Baylor is one of your top choices in schools but you're still deciding where you want to go, Early Action is a great non-binding way to apply and get a decision early in the process. Early Action applications are due November 1st and you'll receive an admission decision by January 15th. And then Regular Admission is our latest and final application deadline. This is designed for students who'd like a non-binding application decision and do not complete their application by the November 1st deadline. With this admissions plan, students must complete their application and submit required materials by February 1st and they'll receive an admission decision no later than April 10th. Once you've chosen your admissions plan, you'll choose how you'd like to apply. You can apply for free online with the Baylor Online application, the Common application, or Apply Texas. And we don't have a preference on which application you choose. No matter which way you apply, you'll be directed to create a GoBaylor account in order to access the application checklist where we communicate what's needed to complete your file, as well as invite you to important programs and offerings just for you. And a little pro tip, whatever email address you apply with will be used to communicate important information through the summer after you graduate. So we recommend using a personal, non-school affiliated email address that you'll check often and use long term. Thanks for watching, we hope you apply soon, and sick'em bears!